Hello everyone, welcome to Arha's Encyclopedia. From the long back, we have started our YouTube channel. Some of the technical issues I have stopped making video. In the last week, I have not uploaded, and also before last week, also I have not uploaded because of some voice issues and the video clarity issue. But this time, I have purchased a new mic for better quality. So from this week, I have decided to uh, convey the knowledge and information about the grammar so why uh, we have to follow a procedure means we need to learn a disciplined way disciplined way of life then only we can understand much better language and also grammar so firstly to learn english language grammar is the very essential and also important that plays an important role so to learn the grammar uh, we need to follow some of the procedures so in the grammar english grammar especially so we need to know parts of speech firstly whatever you want to learn in the grammar we have to begin with the parts of speech in this parts of speech we have eight parts are there first one is that so noun pronoun verb adverb adjective uh, conjunction interjection noun pronoun verb adverb preposition so these are the eight parts in the parts of speech now noun noun is nothing but naming words naming words are called as a nouns and also pronoun pronoun is nothing but instead using names we have to use some particular word so pronoun pronoun is nothing but uh, instead of using names we have to use different kinds of words he she they them this kind of words are called as a pronouns and also verb verbs are nothing but action example uh, reading writing sleeping walking jogging these are all the actions right so we can we can say that these are the verbs and also next one adverb adverb is nothing but that modifies verb or for, uh, uh, adverb or adjective or another adjective we can say that adverb so means adverb is nothing but that modifies verb for example uh, mahesh runs mahesh runs falsely this falsely word is a adverb so next one adjective adjective is nothing but uh, that describe a quality or a quantity or a size or a color or a shape that describes about a particular person or a thing is called as the adjectives and coming to the actually we have to know seventh uh, sixth one is that uh, preposition preposition so now we learn preposition so prepositions preposition tells the relationship between a noun or a pronoun for example half if if and uh, over uh, with uh, within at uh, in on these are all kinds of words are called prepositions so preposition tells the relationship between a noun or a pronoun or a thing you can call it as that prepositions and coming to conjunction conjunctions are all words that joins two sentences or join two words for example and uh, and uh, but uh, yet uh, or so these are all called conjunctions of a word and interjection and last one is that interjection so interjection is nothing but uh, exclamatory marks sometimes you are expressing sudden feelings or sudden emotions and sudden uh, situations you are expressing so you have to use different kinds of words so example of words oh wow wow hurry yummy and also 
Oops. So these are all these are all different kinds of words. We can say that interjection. Interjection is nothing but sudden expressions or a sudden feeling is called as an interjection. So this is the brief introduction of a parts of speech. Based on this only we can learn various information from the parts of speech. And also every word describes about a particular word. Every part. So parts of speech is nothing but a branch of knowledge that deals with different kinds of words. So in this English language, any word or any uh, letter comes under these parts of speech. Whatever you're using, your different kinds of word that comes under the parts of speech, especially articles. Articles A and the A and the are different words, but maximum maximum words or uh, comes from the parts of speech any kind of word or a maximum words that covers in the parts of speech so in the parts of speech firstly uh, one of the branch or one of the part is noun so just before i have told that nouns are nothing but naming words Every words have particular names. So we can say that naming words. For example, wall, marker, watch, board, light, and also uh, switches. These are all the naming words, right? So that are all naming words comes under that noun. So noun, noun is especially divided two types. First one is that com. So first one is that common nouns, proper nouns. So firstly, we have to learn the common noun. What is the common? Yes. So common noun and proper noun. First common noun is nothing but uh, instead of mentioning a proper names of a words, we can call it as common noun. For example, common noun, city, railway station, bus stop, tree, teacher, lecturer. We are saying that not mentioning proper person's name, but we are mentioning that a common, for example, city, bus, bus, stop, river, a river, and also doctor, engineer, engineer so instead of mentioning person's name a particular person's name we are using different kinds of word city bus stop river doctor engineer so different kinds of words we are using mentioning a properly proper name so we can get, say that crop common noun so what is the proper noun proper noun is nothing but Mentioning a person's name or a thing name or a place name clearly in a proper way that is called proper noun. For example, city, city, Hyderabad and bus stop, Utnoor bus stop like. Utnoor bus stop and also river Godavari. And also doctor, so Dr. Malish and engineer, so also proper engineer name like uh, other persons. So common noun is nothing but not mentioning proper, proper person's name or a thing name or a place name. Instead of we simply saying city, bus stop, river, doctor, engineer, we can call it as a common noun. And proper nouns, proper nouns are nothing but Gandhi, Ambedkar, Hyderabad, Delhi, Chennai. These are all the place names or a person's name in a proper way. So that's why we can call it as a proper noun. So in this common noun and proper noun, common nouns are divided two types. Common nouns are divided that are two types. So, what are they? 
So countable noun and uncountable noun. So countable nouns and uncountable nouns. What are the countable nouns and uncountable nouns? Countable nouns are nothing but whichever it is possible to count. For example, we have singular forms are there, plural forms are there. Singular is nothing but one. Plural is nothing but more than two. So countable nouns are singulars and plurals. So one is one is. Uh, so countable nouns. Countable nouns are nothing but singulars and plural form. Singulars. For example, I am writing uh, boy. Boy is a singular. Boys is a plural form. Girl. Girl is a singular. Girls. Plural form. Car. Car. Cars. So, so countable nouns and uncountable nouns. All plural forms and singular forms are called as that countable nouns. So, uh, coming to the uncountable nouns, uncountable nouns are nothing but which is not possible to count. For example, uh, we have sand, we cannot count sand. And also we have leaves, we cannot count the leaves. And also we have stars, but we cannot count the uh, stars. And also oil, uh, rice, rice. Rice, oil, petrol, diesel, and sugar, salt, salt. These are the examples of uncountable nouns. Rice, we cannot count it because, but we can measure in measure it. Oil, but we cannot count. Like uh, drop, drop oil, we cannot count. Petrol, diesel, also same. Sugars. So we can measure it, but we cannot count it. Sugar and salt also same like that. So we have discussed today parts of speech, eight uh, parts in the parts of speech. And also we have discussed that nouns. In that nouns, we have two types of noun, common noun and proper noun. In the common noun, we have two separations, countable noun, uncountable noun. And in the next video, I will tell that uh, in the common noun, we have four types of uh, four types of nouns are there. One is uh, abstract noun, second one is that concrete noun and third one is that material noun and the fourth one is that uh, collective noun. So these four types of nouns are there. In the next video we are going to learn uh, in the clear way that is four types of noun. Uh, thank you for watching my videos and if you like it subscribe my channel. Thank you.